I've been using the Sigma FP for my personal projects over the past 10 months and I've grown to love this camera more and more. I've been slowly wanting to make my filmmaking package smaller and smaller while still retaining a very high quality and the Sigma FP is perfect for that. Although the Sigma FP has a lot of quirks, there are plenty of videos on the internet discussing that. I'm not here to stir the pot and the Sigma FP just received a big update and I would like to talk about it. This reminded me of the old days when Zcam used to update their products constantly and listen to the community feedback. And I'm really stoked to see Sigma listening to their community. Now the most impressive feature in this update for me was the introduction of EL Zone. First I was confused because I've never heard about this feature before. But the more and more I looked into it, the more and more it made sense. And it's very surprising to me that more cinema cameras don't come with this feature built in. Up until the release of this update, the only other camera that had this feature built in was the Panasonic Vericam LT and some high-end monitors. Why is this even a big deal? Why should you care? Why do I even care this much? There's currently no standardization for digital cameras on how we interpret exposure. I have personally used a variety of cinema cameras over the years, and I've found that they all have their own way of determining what their IRE values are. Most cinema cameras have false colors, which is based on IRE values, which is not consistent with the stop values on your lens and light meters. And IRE values vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. So when switching from one camera to the next, I've always had to relearn how their false color tool works because they're all different. What even is IRE? IRE is a unit of measurement for analog composite video. Its name is derived from the Institute of Radio Engineers and it was invented over 100 years ago. The Institute of Radio Engineers assigned a value of 100 IRE to the one volt peak to peak measurement that defined the range of video signal from black to white. It's not necessarily a stop value. So a few years ago, American cinematographer and director Edward Lockman invented EL Zone. And this aims to solve the lack of consistency when judging exposure with digital cameras. EL Zone is based on 18% gray, and then in half stop and one stop increments, you can judge the exposure for both light and dark skin tones. And then in one stop increments up to six stops, the rest of the color range shows how overexposed in warm colors or underexposed in dark colors your image is. This allows you to be more accurate with your exposure and more consistent. And if you're more consistent, the more likely you'll be hired to do the job. Now, 18% gray is 18% gray. We can all agree on what that is. So if you pull out your handy dandy color checker, set your exposure according to 18% gray, then it's easier to judge if you need to go higher or lower in your exposure to get proper skin tones. This is a very useful tool for every camera manufacturer to adopt. And overall, this feature alone makes me very excited to make more videos with my Sigma FP and for my YouTube channel. So if you'd like to learn more about cinematography with me, consider subscribing. And if you'd like to learn how to use one light to make a really good video or documentary, go ahead and check out this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.